everyone, it's me here and I made a video recently about what I want for 2022 and I listed things in the areas of my life that I wanted to work on and new areas that I wanted to dive into as well so if you've watched that, go check that out but I thought, why not like get it out of my head so it's stuck in my head but I want to visualise it so I made a vision board a memory that I forgot about has just appeared, but I remember making loads of collages in secondary school. Um, I'm not sure exactly what of, I remember one of them was my favourite YouTubers because I've been on YouTube since I was like 10. Yep, I'm 22, almost 23 now. With that being said, I made a list last night based on my intentions for 2022. This vision board is for 2022 and beyond. So yeah, I made the list last night and I made the vision board this morning. And that is my definition of slowing down. It is subject to change, so I'm not gonna show it properly. I'm just gonna pick out key photos and areas and tell you what they are and why I picked them. I guess the why is because I want them. <laughs> The first key area has loads of pictures of lakes, mountains, nature. I love nature. I feel the most calmest and peaceful in nature. So I want to spend more time in the places that make me feel amazing, which is nature, whether that's through day trips, holidays, or even moving because I think I would thrive in a village, in a semi-rural area. I'm not a massive fan of cities. There's more things to do in cities, but in semi-rural places, there's more peace. That's what I'm thinking anyway. What kind of follows on from that is I have a section about peace, love and joy. So I have pictures of people meditating in nature on the beach, sitting like on a dock, looking out onto the lakes. So it kind of ties into the spirituality area from my What I Want From 2022 video. Um, I just wanna be in nature, clear my mind, and connect to the earth and everything around it. Oh, that sounds really cheesy, but that would make my heart so full and my wrist just crack. And then it kind of moves into the relationships kind of area, self-love. The most important relationship, I think, is with yourself. As I always say, you are the most important person that will ever be in your life. So treat yourself right. But also, I want to make more meaningful relationships and connections with people. So yeah, it kind of flows into like each other my vision board, I mean. So the love kind of area, self-love, flows into doing what I love. Um, the two things that I really love are content creating and fashion. The thing I love about content creating and media, I kind of didn't mention that, but I love being able to show what's on the inside of my brain, whether it's through photography, when I can catch something, and it kind of shows my perspective of life or through YouTube where I show the things that I like. I like that I kind of get to share my life experience and share it in a way that offers advice. I love helping people. I think if I could handle it, I would be a paramedic because that's like what I really wanted to do when I was younger. But if I can help people in a different way, then this is the way I want to do it, whether it's through fashion inspiration, life advice, um, just showing people that it's okay to be themselves. Um, my battery's about to die. I changed my battery. We're gonna try and pick up, but this usually doesn't cooperate. But if I can help people and do what I love at the same time, then I would really feel like I'm winning at life. Oh, just imagine being a content creator and also doing fashion through my business and then content creating for my business. That is what I want. That is really what I want. 
it can't be separate but also together at the same time <sighs> create a vision board create one it will help you see what you want in your life and it will help you figure out subconsciously and consciously how you can do that <sighs> I've, my mind is blown it's just been blown exploded so i have a picture that says grow your business on it and a money chart going up and a, a jar with coins and a little uh, leaf coming out of it because I want to, like I said, grow my business and I want to be financially stable whether it's through that or in another way but I think if it all works out, which it will because I'm picturing it, I'm feeling it and I'm living it already, I will have my dream of having a successful clothing business pre-loved, vintage and I'll be able to create content for it and it will all be great. Does this make sense? I don't know because I didn't plan it. I just spoke from the heart. <laughs> well there we have it. That was me trying to explain what's on my vision board. Um, I probably explained more of it than I was intending to but that's okay, it's good to get it out into the universe and set it up, it's gonna happen, I believe it. Let me know if you've ever made a vision board or are planning to in the comments, something that you want for the future as well. If you enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that notification bell and I'll see you next time, bye!